Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I fell in love with this look that Natasha Denona put up on her Instagram back in April. I have been dying to recreate it ever since, so I did that today. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Hey, this is the makeup look I'm going to be doing today from Natasha Denona. So a really bronzy, orangey red crease with a blue and gold halo eye. Some nice highlighted skin and lips. Okay, so her crease is super warm. So I wanna start with a pretty warm transition shade. So I'm gonna use my Carly Bible palette and I'm gonna take the first color right here. I'm gonna go in really softly with that shade and just start to carve out the shape that I want from my shadow. I usually like to extend my shadow in more of a V shape on the outer corner of my eye, but this one is pretty round, so we're gonna try and go a little bit more round than I would normally do. Her shadow comes all the way into the inner corner of the eye, so I'm gonna bring it all the way in. All right, so let's get some of this warmth going. So next I'm going in with an eyeshadow pencil. This is Bronze Garnet by Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna take this orange color from this little NARS duo that I have and work that into the crease as well. And I'm going to really kind of let this be free. I'm nice and blown out. I used to always use orange in my crease. I never do anymore. The most red eyeshadow that I have is in my Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette. So it's this one right here. I switched to a smaller brush for this. I don't want this color as blown out as the orange. I'm gonna go ahead with a couple of cream bases. I'm gonna use Bet and Cleopatra by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know which one I should start with. I think I'm gonna do the green first. Okay. So I feel like before I go in with the next cream shadow, I should set this. For this, I'm using the Rebel Palette by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to use this shade right here. I'm going to use a really small, precise brush and go right over top of where I put down that cream shadow to set it. So I'm going to take Bet, which is the gold cream shadow from Charlotte Tilbury. Pop this right in the center. That's a little bit too antique of a gold for me, so I'm gonna use a lighter gold to set that with. So I'm gonna take this other color from the little NARS palette that I'm using, and I'm gonna set that. Those colors are pretty intense, so I think I want to intensify the crease a little bit, so I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more orange and red to really add some drama to my crease. And the lines on my lid, the, the separation between the blue and the gold are looking pretty harsh. So I want to kind of soften those a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that gold NARS shadow and just really lightly go over the edges. I'm going to use a smaller brush. And I'm kind of losing my blue a little bit. So back in with the Charlotte Tilbury palette. So I'm feeling like I need to do some work on the lower lash line to kind of figure out where I'm at with what's going on on top. So uh, I think she just has the warm colors in her on her lower lash line. Yeah, so she's got a little bit of gold on the inner corner and then the warm red and brown as well going down all the way across. So I'm just going to use those same three colors that I used in my crease on my lower lash line as well. And I'm not going to take it all the way in because I'm going to add a little pop of gold to the inner third of the eye. And then a little bit of the cream Charlotte Tilbury shadow right on the inner 
third of the lower lash line. Okay, so the eyeshadow on top is really highlighted right in the center. It barely even looks gold right at the bottom at the center of her lid. So I'm gonna take uh, a white highlighter. I'm gonna use this one from the Carly Bible palette and I'm gonna add this right to the very center on a tiny little brush and I'm not gonna dip back into the brush to add any more product to it but I'm gonna take whatever's left um, and add it to my inner corner. So I think that's it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on a really thin black liquid liner uh, some mascara and some lashes and I'll be back. Okay, so Our model has super bronzy skin So I'm gonna go ahead with one of the darker bronzers. That I have which is this one from Dior. It's this 001 It doesn't really look like she's wearing blush so I'm going to use my bronzer kind of as blush as well and bring it a little higher on my cheek than I might otherwise have done. It doesn't look like she's wearing highlighter on her cheekbones, but she has it through the center of her face. So I'm going to use this really subtle one. Uh, this is Lights Capade, a mineralized skin finish from MAC. And I'm going to really lightly dust that to the center of my forehead, my chin. I'm going to go back in with the white highlight that we used on the eyes from the Carly Bible palette. And I'm going to use that on my cupid's bow and then right on the tip of the nose to line my lips I'm gonna use this Annabelle lip liner in the color modest And then for lipstick, I'm going to use Penelope Pink by Charlotte Tilbury. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps to get the video around so that more people can see it. And leave me a comment down below if there are any other looks that you would like to see me recreate. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see everything that I have coming up. The next video that I have coming up is going to be a Thailand vlog. So if you don't want to miss it, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you then. Bye.